today I am bringing you a book review, and that book review was going to be on The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. This book is a YA fantasy novel following a girl named Echo who gets caught in a quest between two races that are at war. They're both races are on this quest and she gets caught in the middle of it. Basically there are the Avacyn that are bird people and the Drakarin that are dragon people and they've been at war for as long as anyone can remember. This book surprised me. I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars because while it was quite original, the idea, it did sometimes fall into some tropes that I was a bit like, oh, that's a bit of a shame. And there was some aspects at the beginning that I thought uh, lacked the correct amount of world building. But saying that, I did adore the book because the main character, Echo, who I talked about, who I mentioned, she is absolutely brilliant. I think that's something you have to know going into this book. If you want a badass female lead, Echo is that. She is a thief and she gets everything done that she needs to. She is fiery, she has a really strong personality and not only that, she feels very real because she does have this like darker past and something happens later on that does really destroy her a little bit. But that's not the point. The point is Echo's amazing and for that reason alone people should read this book. She is witty, she is sarcastic, she is everything I love in a protagonist. And then you have the supporting cast of characters that are incredibly odd. Like it's an odd supporting cast but I did enjoy all of them. I'm not going to say too much about them because it's a little bit of a spoiler but there is some really good side plots that I think, I hope, that are going to be developed in the sequel, The Shadow Hour, which I have, but I haven't read yet obviously. But the main thing about this book is this quest that they're on, and the quest is to find the Firebird. It is a legendary thing that is meant to bring the end of the war. And it's a, like, a treasure tra treasure map? It's a treasure map narrative. I didn't even, like, realise it was going to be that. It's like a scavenger hunt. It was really cool. Really original, I thought, to have this kind of scavenger hunt and then you get to a big climactic fight which was incredible. Melissa Gray really did a good job of writing the fight scenes and the dialogue. I think especially are those, those two are her highlights. But yeah, I think that is kind of like a whistle stop review and I'm going to try and keep my reviews quite brief. But if that sounds interesting to you, I suggest you pick up this book because it was so good, like I didn't even expect it to be that good, but it was. Like no one's read this book it feels like, but you should because it's a beautiful book for one thing and it's pretty damn good on the inside, so I hope to read the sequel soon. And yeah, that will be my very quick review on The Girl at Midnight. I hope you enjoyed this video, I will have another one up soon, so goodbye!